We have this breaking um, hours ago, a 7.8 magnitude hit Ecuador. And that came on the heels of the 7.0 that struck Japan. You know, they're, they're a day apart, and it's on this ring of fire. And, you know, it goes kind of straight across. And I don't know. It's just concerning for those of you who are on the ring of fire. So let's look at these reports. At 9.26 p.m. on Thursday evening, the residents of Kumamoto, Japan, experienced a 6.2 magnitude earthquake the worst shaking Japan had felt since the 8.9 magnitude earthquake back in 2011. And just like all earthquakes of this magnitude, it contained a whole host of aftershocks, including this one, which was shot by a man that was in a 7-11. But things got worse when a 6.0 magnitude earthquake hit right under the city of Kumamoto just after midnight, just about three hours after the first quake. This just further complicates the rescue efforts for the people that were trying to rescue people trapped. Daylight really brought into scope the disaster. And unfortunately, we found the news of the first few casualties. Things turned a lot worse when a 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck in almost the exact same location. The 7.0 earthquake is now the main shock. So here in Japan, at least 32 people are reported to have died, and about two dozen people were known to still be buried beneath rubble, at least 800 people injured. And then here in Ecuador, it's the largest since 1979. 77 people so far have died, and more than 500 were known to be injured. God willing, those numbers won't go up any higher as it's not as densely populated there as where the quakes in Japan struck. However, this ring of fire and this activity is concerning. Let's look at this. Bits of information from this area. It was a 7.8 magnitude local time at uh, just before 7 p.m. and the depth at 19.2 kilometers. Again, about 300 kilometers just outside of Quito. Uh, this is important because uh, this falls on the ring of fire. This is the part of the world that experiences the most amount of volcanoes and earthquakes. 90% of the world's earthquakes actually occur across this area. So here we have fears of the big one as seven major earthquakes strike Pacific region in just 96 hours. Scientists fear a monster earthquake could be about to strike after a seventh quake in just 96 hours struck region, killing over 100 people. Down here we have there have been other large earthquakes recorded in recent days, including a major one in southern Japan, which destroyed buildings and left at least 45 people injured after Myanmar was rocked on Wednesday. And so finally, we're going to come here where the story is five major earthquakes in 48 hours as a seismologist warns catastrophic mega earthquakes are coming. Over the past 48 hours, there have been five major earthquakes globally, and one prominent seismologist has declared that catastrophic megaquakes could be on the way. In fact, seismologist Roger Bilham of the University of Colorado has made headlines all over the world by warning that current conditions might trigger at least four earthquakes greater than 8.0 in magnitude. If his projections are accurate, our planet could be on the precipice of a wave of natural disasters unlike anything that any of us have ever experienced. Ominous. A single magnitude 8.0 earthquake in a populated area would be a disaster of historic proportions. So imagine if we were to see four of them. Anyways, there's just been a whole lot of shaking going on, and this was something I wanted to get out there. Prayers to everybody in affected areas and to everybody on the ring of fire. This is just something I wanted to share, so consider it shared.